Hi, this is Sanjay from Ask a Sound Guy, and I'm going to show you how to set up a multi-channel version of Ultrabeat. Uh, so what I've got set up right now is just a stereo, plain old vanilla stereo version of Ultrabeat on a track. I want to switch this to be a multi-channel version so I can process all of the different samples differently or groups of samples differently. Um, and it's really easy to switch an existing version of Ultrabeat into a multi-channel all kit. Just grab the plugin and switch it to multi-output or play. It should reload having the same samples that you had in the stereo version, nothing else should change. Um, just should be um, able to give you lots of different outputs now. Uh, I'm gonna choose some basic set. Oops, I think they're gonna fit whatever, that'll work. Um, and now what you'll notice if you look at the Ultrabeat mixer window here, you'll see that you've got um, the name of every sample, you've got a volume slider, slider for each sample, you've got a mute and solo button, you've got pan button, and this is the important one, an output selector. So I'm gonna choose um, which output to go out of Ultrabeat. An Ultrabeat um, multi-channel version has eight stereo buses, these three through 16, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then eight mono buses, 17 through 24. Um, and those will end up corresponding to the aux sends that I'm gonna take. So I'm gonna make three uh, aux sends really quick. Uh, one, three, uh, I want them to be stereo, it's gonna feel like it. Um, and it doesn't look like I can choose the outputs I want yet, so I'll just take the auxes. three extra oxys. I'm going to call this one snake. Uh, ox two is going to be chimney. And ox three is going to be tom. Um, and if you look at your input menu, um, let me make this bigger. Let me uh, zoom in a little bit. Uh, you grab your input menu now. You can select instrument one, which is the track that Ultrabeat uh, is sitting on. Uh, you can see, because it's a stereo track, I see all of Ultrabeat's stereo outputs. If I were to switch this to a mono track, I would be able to see Ultrabeat's mono outputs, 17 through 24. Um, because I wanna maintain panning with groups of samples, I'm gonna use stereo uh, busing. So on the first track, Ultrabeat 3-4, second track is going to be Ultrabeat 5-6, and the third aux is going to be Ultrabeat 7 and 8. Uh, do <laughs> turn the volumes up on there a little bit. Um, now I, I can select um, different sounds. I'm going to leave the kicks on the main output track of Ultrabeat. Um, and I'm going to uh, switch all of the snare sounds to a 3-4. So rim shot, basic snare, a uh, further clap in there, and a snap snare. Those are all going to go out um, to the snare with aux. You can see that um, Anything that I switch to 3 4 is going to be playing out of that first snare box, and the original kick sound is going to come out of the main output. Uh, I'm going to switch toms since I, I have a toms uh, aux set up to Ultra Beat 7 8. Low tom, mid tom, and the high tom. Switch my hi hat sound to 5 and 6 because that's the uh, Ultra Beat bus I'm sending to my. Symbols track. That. You can see I've got my symbol samples, my hi hat samples coming out of the symbol track. Tom sounds are coming out of the tom track. Snare sounds coming out of the snare track, and the kick coming out of the main output. Uh, one of the cooler things about this is because you get stereo outputs like 5 and 6, I can pan 
all of my toms out. So it's my high tom to the left, mid tom to the right, and low tom all the way to the right. is just a cool little feature and one of the nicer things now is I can put uh, a kick EQ on the snare uh, on the kick track sorry um, and not affect the other um, samples I've got going on so I can just let this be EQ for a kick and just make it some crazy EQ and let this be EQ for a snare you know But the rough, the rough idea is I can EQ, compress, hit reverb, do processing, make aux sends, whatever I want to groups or samples individually, or even if I wanted to separate these out into individual outputs. Um, so that's a really great way to use Ultrabeat and, and get a little more mileage out of Ultrabeat as a plugin, because um, I'm sure uh, after a, a one or two months using Logic, you're already tired of all the sound samples. Um, but this is a one cool way that you can you know, mix and match, process a little differently, get a little more realism, even uh, send different samples to different reverbs and echoes and things, um, and bring some new life into this kit. Um, well, hope you guys have fun with that, and happy sound hunting.